When I first became pastor in Franklin Avenue, I was vilified. I was called the Uncle Tom. I was called Puppet on the String. I was really a uh, guy just because, uh, of a, because of being a black pastor in Southern Baptist, in Southern Baptist Convention. That was a no-no back in those days. But now, man, it's embraced across the country. I surrendered my life to Christ in 77. I accepted my call to, uh, to preach in 1983. And then I started pastoring uh, Franklin Avenue Baptist Church, the church I'm at today, in October of 1986. It's the only church I've ever pastored. But the reason I know why y'all gonna make it, it's in the spirit! But I want to also feel good about is that I, about the number of people that have called me, emailed me, texted me, African Americans, who have expressed interest in becoming part of the Southern Baptist Convention. Um, I think it has a lot to do with, with me in this position. And that was really, Bill, one of my, my prayers, that God would use me in this position to open up this convention to more ethnic groups, to let them know that our convention is open to whosoever will. I was in Huntsville, Alabama about two weeks ago, and the president of the National Baptist, one of the National Baptist Convention in the USA, Dr. Julia Shrugs, who lives in Huntsville, Alabama, came to that meeting, and we took pictures together. The local paper did a, a story on it, and it's just, to me, broke down some of the walls that we've had for years between Southern Baptist Convention and National Baptist Convention. There have always been an effort, I think, on both parts to really work together, but it has not been successful in a lot of areas. I think me in this position and then meeting people like Dr. Shrugs and I've talked to the other presidents of the uh, other National Baptist Convention, I think has done a lot for the conventions coming together that we're able to accept all of us together and realize that we're all in this thing together.